Mm. And Sola returned. It's the moment that the sun comes back to the same spot it was when you were born. In other words, my birthday. <laughs> a.m. which means technically I should have been up at 5 a.m. but yo I'm tired I was debating how to document this day should it be a typical get ready with me or a more thoughtful vlog so I thought why not do both Lego birthdays don't hit the same way they used to as when you were a kid when you were a kid it was a jump you know, you're excited for the presents, for the uh, bouncy castles, for the sweets, for the sugars, for the gifts, for the friends. And even to get older so you can stay up later and you can watch more movies, you can play those video games that you weren't allowed to play because you were too young to play those games or now you're old enough to get into those rides. It's dope. I'm getting a year older. I am excited to get older and to do these things. Say I'm five years old now. Older you get, the less time you have sometimes even throw a birthday party, the less gifts you get, it's harder to connect with your friends, it's it's a bit scary, yeah, the older you get, it's a bit scarier, the older you get, there's more pressure, I feel, there's more weight on your shoulders, it's like, I've now reached a certain age, therefore I should have done A, B, C, but as a kid, you're like, I can't wait! to be this age so I can do ABC, you know? I'll be honest um, and tell you guys how I kind of feel or felt normally going into my birthday these days. It's that, um, like right now, I have now reached the age of 27, which is cool, yeah. But I'm still at home, like with my family, with my mom, my dad, my sister. Um, still single I don't have a mortgage I don't have all these things that they tell you to have when you're older you know once you become an adult I don't have those things so I guess that makes me a failure right according to society's script I have failed I'm not adequate and therefore it's very easy for us to feel inadequate when we don't follow society's trajectory of life we don't follow their handbook a guidebook on how to live life. It's tough. It sucks. It gives you a lot of anxiety. It makes it just makes you feel like you're not enough. I guess this is the reality check part, right? Where you kind of have to sit back and just look at like everything you've done in your years being on this planet. And I think the fact that I am able to even talk to you guys to me tells me that it's not over yet. I still have a fight in this race. I still am capable of fighting in this race. My journey is not done. And neither is yours, if you're feeling anything remotely to how I feel going into a new year. It's not over. And I think maybe that's the dope thing about getting older, is that you can, if you choose to, you can start looking at things a bit objectively and look at things in isolation a bit. And you start to realize that all of this stuff has context. All of it. Everything in life has got context, right? And nothing is just that black and white. So when I look at my year this year, it's been a very difficult year. I won't cap to you. It's been a very, very difficult year. And I did come into this year full of energy, full of goals and all that stuff. I did. Trust me, I did. It just got really difficult. And then I think this is where context comes in and and self-love, knowing yourself comes in. And I know that I'm an emotional person and when I do give something and when I attach to something emotionally, I give it 100%, all or nothing. That's just how I am. So when something blows up and something ends up very badly, it puts me in a very bad space and it's hard for me to get out of that space. It's very difficult. 
And now more that I look at it, the more I think about it, this year was a purge year. I think I had to learn different things. For me to learn different things, I had to lose a lot of things. I lost some friends, not saying they passed away or anything, but just no longer my friends, which really hurt, but I lost them. Uh, I nearly lost my dad this year. He had cancer. Um, I was in a relationship. After being single for six years, I was finally in a relationship. Wanted it to last, I failed. And then also I was in a very toxic workspace. So yeah, I think I had to be in a space where I've like lost things to realize that there's lights at the end of the tunnel, as corny and as cheesy as that sounds, but there is. Because when I reflected on me turning a year older, I had to also look back at like 10 years ago when I was 17 years old. Would I ever have thought I would have been in this position? Would I ever have thought I would have done the things I would have? Now maybe at 17, yes, I didn't expect to still be living at home. But also I didn't expect to ever be in Disney Channel. But I did that. I did that. And that I have to be proud of. Because there's a lot of people who also want to do that but they haven't been able to. A lot of people who are start getting jobs that they hate, but they have to do it because they need to make ends meet. You get what I'm saying? So I think even though I am in some situations I wouldn't have wanted to be in, there was still a lot of positives that I was able to get and able to see and able to meet this year. I met some really cool people this year. I made some really good friends this year. And, but for me to make those friends, I had to lose friends. I had to lose relationships. I had to I had to lose that part of me. That part of me, some parts of me had to die for these new parts to come through. I think even being at home and almost losing my dad helped me realize that, bro, life is short, life is fleeting. It's not guaranteed. So therefore, really cherish the moments you have with your loved ones. Really love them, really bond with them, really connect. Cause it could be over tomorrow like this could be the last time you sing me who knows you know what i'm saying like none of us know right so yes i did come into this birthday feeling a bit depressed feeling a bit like oh it's another yeah another thing of me trying to do this life thing and me feeling like a failure but the truth is i'm not a failure and neither are you because 10 years ago there were things that you thought you would never be able to do and you have done them today you've done them there was a moment in your life where you thought this is the end. This cannot get any worse. I will not overcome this bad situation in my life. But boom, you're here. You're watching this video. We are connecting. It means you overcame it. You also have not experienced every best day in your life. Whatever best day you think you've had, there will be another one. And another one. And another one. It's not over. I'm going to end this by saying, when the noise is too loud, don't forget to tune the volume a little bit. Make it a little bit lower. Detach. It's okay. Because I need you to realize, and what I'm learning is that everyone else's noise is not your noise. You got your own noise to deal with. Leave their noise. A lot of their noise is just projections about their own insecurities about themselves that they're putting onto you. So focus on you. Love you and love yours. Thank you for watching this video. It's been your boy T-A-K-I, the human. Don't forget the room, but you just to embrace some love. Peace.